Hello everyone, welcome back. So, here is my latest Coleman find. Oh yeah. So I have the elusive 200A and the elusive guillotine steel lantern case. Now I got these as a package deal. Oh, before I get into that, because I'm going to be yapping, <laughs> I had a comment on one of my videos that said something like, this is not verbatim, um, something to the effect of, uh, too much talking, big thumbs down. <laughs> so I replied, again, I probably not verbatim, but um, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, but you're probably not going to like any of my other videos because I do a lot of talking, LOL. <laughs> so I, I get it. Um, when I'm looking for something like specific, um, I don't want to hear a lot of talking. I just want to get to the part where I need to do whatever I'm trying to figure out how to do, okay? Um, and my type of videos are more explaining things um, versus the videos where um, the creators just show you how to do things with no talking. So uh, <laughs> I know you all have been following for years um, know, you know, the way my style of uh, creating is. So, to the person who wrote that comment, if you're watching this one, you might as well just click it off because I'm going to be yapping away. <laughs> so, I like to show everything as found, okay? So, I did nothing but look inside the found in that 200A. Um, I didn't clean anything. I didn't dust anything. Um, so I like to show you the way I found it, and um, I am going to be restoring that 200A, but I'm not going to actually be um, documenting the process, so to say. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description to Frank over at Old Town Coleman. Um, he has a three-part series on restoring one of those uh, 200As that is so uh, detailed that me trying to do it uh, and it being my first one will not do it justice. Plus, um, I'll, t I'll be totally honest with you. My camera set up here, in my, this is my garage bench, um, and me trying to work around the camera and you know getting all the uh, good shots, it, it's kind of a bear. Um, so it's my first 200A restore, and I, I kind of just want to concentrate on the restore and not filming it. Um, those of you that create, I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm saying. So, um, but today's just going to be a show and tell. So, it is a 200A. This one is dated, probably can't see it, but 5 of 65. Okay, um, let's take a little look at it. Not a ton of rust on there. Vents in pretty decent shape. Got a couple little chips. Got a good globe. And boy, does that have a nice patina on it, huh? Look at that. I mean, that really does. I'll tell you what, I, if this fount was in good condition, um, it's got a little dent there, probably nothing I'm going to be able to do about that, um, but it's got, you know, a lot of the paint's missing, I'm, I'm almost thinking I don't want to restore it, just clean it up. Um, inside the fount, there's a little bit of rust. There is some rust
right here on the top. So I I don't know. I'm in a quandary over this one. I, I really dig the patina that's on here. I mean, that's just showing age. Um, it's really not rusty. Maybe just a cleanup. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. So the story behind this is I was um, perusing Facebook Marketplace and this lanthern popped up. And the person had it for sale for $20. And I immediately said, hey, are you including that case with that lanthern for $20? Because if you are, I'll take it. Um, and they replied back, yes and yes. So I had to drive almost three hours round trip to get that. Um, but for something like that, I would make that drive. Um, I'm sure anyone who collects these would say the same. Um, when I got there, I bought it, and the person was like, you were the first one to answer the ad, and my phone blew up after... Uh, you know, my initial contact. He goes, you, you just broke a lot of hearts. And I can see why, right? Um, these things go for a pretty penny. Um, again, this is not anywhere near mint. Um, and as I'm even looking at it, I'm like, should I just clean it? You know, and, and maybe just put a clear coat on the fount to prevent it from rusting or just put some wax on it. Um, I think the frame might be a little crooked. Yeah, the frame is crooked. So I don't know if this is bent. This might be a little bent. Oh, I see this. This is loose. This one isn't. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if these are tacked like the other ones, the other frames I have, they're all tacked in because that, that part is loose. I could definitely see that. So that's probably why that's a little cocked, but um, I'll have to investigate that. At the very least, I'm going to disassemble it, um, which is pretty easy, and uh, then decide what I'm going to do. Really, I don't really know if I want to restore it. But, uh, all right, so that'll be a discussion for a later time. The um, guillotine case, again, as found, all the dust, it's in, as far as I'm concerned, it's in really good shape. Um, there's no major rusting. Um, this is where you put some extra mantles. It got some cobwebs in there. Um, there's supposed to be a funnel up there, I believe. I've been looking for one of those aluminum funnels, but whoever has them for sale, they think that they're gold, you know. Um, I did have a chance to get one with a lantern, both for 25 bucks, but it was like a four-hour drive. And I just can't justify it, you know. I just have to have patience when it comes to this stuff. So this should clean up really nice. Got one two two little spots of rust here another one here another one there um where the tack welds were done so i'll be able to clean them up and this is for um a 220 size lantern not for this i wish it was that size and it was red because uh those are valuable so uh there's a look at my latest find um let me know what you think about that 200a should i just kind of clean it and leave it as found or uh should i restore it because i'm i'm on the fence i'm definitely on the fence um and then let me know anyone who's uh, disassembled one of these are these two um uh, i guess rails for the frame are they supposed to be tacked on because my welding skills are good enough that i could put a quick tack on there and fix that 
So that's that for this little uh, installment of my Coleman adventure. And like always, everyone, I'm going to tell you much, much love and appreciation to all you, my brothers and sisters, for coming along on my Coleman journey and all my other videos, even though I talk a lot. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all are staying well. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>